Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to e-commerce platforms. In today's video, we've got a really special one for you. We're going to be going through Printful Quick Stores, and it's gonna be giving you the complete guide to what it is, how to use it, and a little demo as well. So strap in, sit back, and enjoy this complete guide to Printful Quick Stores. So the first question you might have is, what is Printful Quick Stores? Well, it's actually quite a new feature. It was originally introduced by Printful in June of 2024 and offers entrepreneurs and creators a convenient way to start selling products. And the benefit is that you don't need to use a full e-commerce platform or a marketplace like Etsy or Amazon. It's actually really similar in a lot of ways to Printify's pop-up store as it offers a free all-in-one tool that individuals can use to sell a range of products. Me personally, I would actually use Printful uh, and integrate it with something like Shopify to boost your brand's reputation and help uh, increase sales. But in saying that, Quick Stores is actually really, really good for beginners. So let's dive in. I'm gonna share everything that you need to know about Printful's Quick Stores. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of this particular product. Overall, Printful Quick Stores is a convenient, free, and simple solution to selling print-on-demand merchandise. However, I will say that it's not great at building a memorable brand, nor is it good for actually scaling businesses. But let's go through the pros and the cons of this solution. So as I mentioned before, the biggest pro is that it is completely free to set up with absolutely no costs. Uh, it's really beginner friendly. Uh, it also handles the production and order fulfillment for you. And you actually benefit from all of Printful's great design tools and access to their wide array of products. However, there are some cons. The reason why I said you can't really build a memorable brand is because you actually can't change much about the design of the store itself. You also won't be able to sell anything that is not created by Printful, and at the moment, it is only available to customers in the US. So now you've got a brief overview around the pros and cons of the product, and you've made it this far into the video, Let's go into a bit more detail. So the first question is, what is Printful's Quick Stores? Well, Quick Stores, as I mentioned, is the free tool offered by Printful to creators who wanna sell products through a custom link online. The benefit is that they don't have to design or manage a full e-commerce platform or create an account for online marketplaces like Amazon or Etsy. It basically gives you a simple storefront where you can showcase your logo. You can then list the products you've created with Printful and process customer payments through Stripe. When you compare it to a traditional comprehensive e-commerce platform, you can see that Quick Stores is actually lacking in a lot of functionality. There are no themes that you can use to customize your site's design. Uh, all you can really customize is your store name and URL, uh, your logo and your product descriptions and photos. But the trade-off is that it is free and very easy to use. Once you create a store with the tool, you can share your custom link with buyers and they can purchase a product in an instant. All of their order information is automatically transferred to Printful and their team handles the production and the fulfillment for you. Similar to Printify's pop-up stores, uh, Quick Stores is actually designed for creators who don't have vast experience in setting up uh, e-commerce stores and selling online. And it gives them the opportunity at a really low barrier of entry to join this market and start selling to their fans. Unlike Printify, it's not available uh, globally yet. It's only available in the US. So now let's move on to how to actually create a store with Quick Stores. Another massive advantage is that you don't need any technical knowledge to set up a store. All you need is a free Printful account, and you can create this by signing up via email or Google or Apple. I'd also recommend choosing a business name and or designing a logo in advance. After you sign up, you can log in and view your Printful dashboard. If you look on the left side menu, you can see the stores tab and you can be taken to a page where you can choose whether you want to integrate Printful with an existing sales channel or create a new store. And remember, if you don't see the quick stores option, it means you're probably not in the US. So don't worry, they're probably going to be expanding that in the future uh, across the globe. But if you do see quick stores in the dashboard, click the create new store button now. Now let's talk about customization. So as I mentioned above, you can't really customize uh, quick stores the way you would if you were using Shopify or Wix, for example, which means that all quick stores are actually gonna look pretty similar. However, there is ways to add unique details to your store. You can, for instance, choose a store name, 
and a unique printful.me URL, for instance. One drawback is that you can't change your URL later. So make sure that the one that you want uh, is the one that you choose at the beginning. And then once you've added your name and custom website address to the store, Printful will ask you to upload your logo. But don't fret if you don't have one yet or it's currently being designed. Uh, that's not to worry because Printful will just simply display your store name at the top of the page when customers click the link. Then you'll need to choose your country of tax residence. Uh, quick stores only available in the US, so you really have one option. And keep in mind that you can only deliver at the moment to customers in the US as well. Finally, you can select a default markup percentage. And that's how you tell Printful how to calculate the price of each product. Keep in mind here, you can change your markup later or you can choose a unique price for each product individually as well. Once you've entered all of these details, you simply hit create store. And now you're gonna be able to start adding products that you've designed with Printful. But if, so how do you do this? Uh, once you've finished creating your store, now it's time to start designing and adding products to sell. So now I want you to go back to your Printful dashboard and click the stores button. And here you're gonna see a button to add a product to your store. If you've previously designed product templates with Printful, you'll be able to add them directly here. But if you haven't designed any products with Printful just yet, you can hit the product catalog button in the left-hand side menu, and you'll be able to browse through all of Printful's customizable products. Once you select an item you wanna customize, you're gonna be taken to Printful's Design Maker, which is a really easy tool to use. This gives you the option to upload designs, adjust their placement, and even add free assets to your design. You can experiment with text, clip art, and even images. Once you're happy with the design, convert it to a mock-up, add a title, and write an enticing description ready for the product to sell. Then you can adjust the product pricing. If you set a default mark percentage for your store, this will automatically determine the initial retail price. However, you can fine tune the pricing at any time. Once you've done this, hit publish and the product will be available on your store. So that's really actually the easy part, setting up your store, adding the products. What is the difficult part is how do you actually get a sale? Once you've got this all up and running, you're going to want to promote and publish your URL um, across the internet. The best way that I found is that if you already have an email list um, or a social media page, you can publish it there uh, and get traffic that way. Alternatively, there are a number of other ways that you can go about it. For example, sending the link into Facebook groups, um, Reddit communities, all this sort of thing. Now, let's say you've got a buy. You know, someone has decided to purchase a product from your store. How do you receive the money? To receive payments for your product, uh, you need to go to the Printful dashboard, click Billing, Quick Store Payments, and choose Set Up Payments. Uh, this will make sure that you can actually access your earnings. Printful has actually partnered with Stripe to enable transaction processing with Quick Stores. And when you're creating your store, you'll be asked to share your bank details and create an account with Stripe as well. Then each month, Printful will transfer any money that you've made to your bank account. But it's important to note that there is a minimum of $25. So if you don't actually reach that threshold in that month, you won't be paid until you do. So there you have it, folks. I hope you found that really uh, useful. I hope you found that entertaining and I hope that you have success when you're using quick stores. Please let me know if you have any feedback, comment below, I'd love to hear it. But until next time, I'll see you later. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this video. We'll see you next week.